Hey again, it's just me with another tutorial for Counter Strike Source or whatever you want. Um, basically, it's for the Source engine. This tutorial is going to revolve more around Photoshop. Okay. Now, if you watched my previous tutorials, which I recommend you do because it's based on the previous ones where we made a box, you don't have to do that, but it would help. You know, it, would, it would help basically. It should work for any model, really. Any model, as long as you've UVW mapped it. It should work for any model. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make the. It's called um, de, you know, a detail map. I'm going to teach you how to um, make the illusion as though, say, for example, if you saw this in game with a detail map on top of it, it would look as though this was painted onto bricks, as though the original box was br just plain bricks, but this red and white has been painted onto it. And that's what a detail map is. It's great for adding things like the illusion of dirt and things like that on top of it. You know, great for things like that. So uh, I recommend going to this website for your textures. I'm sure they've already been there. www.cgtextures.com That's like um, CG as in Charlie Golf Textures.com. CGtextures.com. And I'm just going to use a brick texture for this. So I'm going to type bricks into the search. Thousands of textures, textures, literally thousands, and you can make up your own textures. I'll probably show you how to do that in another tutorial. And I'm going to use this one here. Um, I'm just going to 800 by um, 588, whatever. Um, I've already saved it to my desktop, but okay. Now, here it is, okay? Go and put it into Photoshop. Now, because it depends on the size of your image. If it's 512 by 5, if your say if this image is 512 by 512, what I sorry, what I like to do is um, I think this anymore. Where, what I like to do is make this um, 256 by 256 so it will fit neatly into four parts. I'll show you what I mean. Um, um, should I go into tiling? Okay, I'll, I'll quickly show you how to tile this. First of all, image, image size. Let's just make it um, 512 by 512. I'll sh quickly show you, how, show you how to tile things. Okay. Um, layer, duplicate layer. Okay. Filter, other, offset. I just type plus 256, oops, 256 by plus 256. Oh, so it is tiles. No, not quite actually. It's not quite tiles. As you can see, there's like a faint line going down here and across there. So we'll just go ahead and try and fix that now. I'll actually use a um, clone stamp tool for this. I mean, for this, it's not that noticeable, but you know, it always helps to just go and you know, fix things up. Just, you just cl click on the clone stamp tool, hold down the left. Um, alt button, click on a place like this, and then just you know click and just try and you know remove these lines that go down the middle. Do the same for this. You know, just try and you know remove the lines that go down the middle. Okay, that's fine. As long as you can't see the lines, you'll be okay. You know, just do this. Um, this part here could be duplicated, maybe. Oops. What I'll do for this is. this Oops. basically all you're doing is just like going to one place let holding on the left alt button clicking it and just clicking basically it copies it clones that area see if I click on this using the left alt button and the left mouse button if I click that area and then went up there it would start to paint that area up here I basically just clones things that'll do I think so now we go um, control E, filter, other, offset, plus 512, oops, plus 512. Okay, I think I've just done that, haven't I? <laughs> Cancel. Oops, um, blah, 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 blah. There we go. 
plus 256 by 256. I get a bit confused with this. Okay, now that's that done. Five minutes left, okay. Now to create a normal map, what you do is you go, you ch basically change the size, go to image, size. Like I said, if your image, your UVW map image is 1024 by 1024, you would make this 512 by 512. If it's, if it's 512 by 512, make it 256 by 256. So in my case, my UVW map is 512 by 512. So I'm going to make this one 256 by 256. Basically, you don't want this texture to be too big for your um, UVW map. Shrunk it down, control A for um, selecting all, control copy, which is control C, by the way. Go back to your UVW map here and paste it on. Like that. With, with control V. Now just go to the move tool, which is situated up here just under the PS. Do control V again, control paste, move it up next to it. Um, control E to make to move to move these two together. Con um, hold on the control button and click that layer one there and go to control C control V which is control copy and paste and just move it down like that control E E and that is your normal map but it's not your normal map as you would think go to filter other high high pass and it makes it grey that's fine that's fine don't worry about that and then just save it go to file um, save as wherever you want to save it basically um, detail hang on uh, congrats underscore detail or whatever you know I just always put underscore detail on the end you don't have to but I find that it helps you to you know keep things organized I like to keep things organized save that wherever you want to congrats or whatever you know model underscore detail whatever and save it as a JPEG save okay where are okay um, that we need to do I think I'll cut it short there because I'm running up to eight minutes next I'm going to show you how to basically sort it all out and stuff like that okay so stay tuned for part two and uh, yeah we'll be basically putting this te I'll show you how it works I'll be showing you how to you know where to put it and stuff like that and whatever you know as long as you followed my previous tutorials you should be okay up to this point okay so See you in a couple of minutes.